Agent Prepper. Alright, this time I'm on video with my gun. It is a Heritage Rough Rider. It's manufactured right here in the U.S., as it says on the box. And this is it. It comes with a 22 long rifle cylinder, which is on the gun when you purchase it. And then a 22 magnum cylinder that comes in the box also. It was about $189.99. I got it. Uh, there was a the price. I paid about $200 after everything. After taxes and everything. It's a really good gun. Uh, it's never jammed on me once. It's unlike my father-in-law's gun. Which I'm going to show here in a little while. Uh, it takes small game. Real easily. Uh, and I... I partner it when I go small game hunting with my Savage Model 42, which I will show in a video coming up. I usually keep 22 long rifle in it when I go hunting, <clears throat> but just in case there is anything bigger than that, I usually keep the Magnum cylinder with me in a little, a little old uh, Vietnam era compass pouch that I bought off of Amazon. It was like five bucks. Uh, I've had to duct tape it a little bit because it's nylon, but it works. Uh, and every now and then, especially like uh, the last squirrel season that just passed in, what was it, May? I kept 22 caliber rat shot in it for the snakes down here. The snakes are bad down here, especially where I go hunting. Fortunately, I haven't seen any. I didn't have to shoot any. But uh, I unfortunately didn't see any squirrel either, but... That's not for this video. Alright. So this is mine. This is the Heritage Rough Rider. Now, I keep my father-in-law's in here because it's giving me a little trouble right now. I need to... I had to take it apart and clean it really good. It was a lot of rust. It had been sitting up for a while. But uh, it's a German company that makes this. I cannot pronounce the name. I've tried. My translation app even has trouble pronouncing the name. But it's also a 22 long rifle, 22 Magnum. Unfortunately, when I got it from him, it didn't have the Magnum cylinder, which is why I went out and bought the Heritage. But it did have the 22 long rifle cylinder, which is right here. Uh, when I first got it, it worked pretty good. But uh, every now and then the hammer sticks right around the sixth shot when you're cocking it. So I'm going to have to get that checked out. Because it's already misfired twice in my house. And my wife tried to ban me from having this firearm loose in the house. So I, I put it up. Thankfully nobody was shot. Nobody was hit. It, it was all good. It stalled her. It deafened me for... At least five minutes, both times. One hit a cement floor, and I had a couple of scars on my face from where the the concrete came up and bit the crap out of me. The other one went through the wall in our bedroom. Thankfully, again, nobody was hit. It hit the brick wall, and it, it was gone. But we have a nice little twenty-two caliber hole in our bedroom wall. It teaches me not to play with this certain certain firearm in the house because it doesn't have a safety. Actually, coming back to it, this one actually does. That's what this is for, right there. Remember, red means dead. It's the only revolver I've ever seen with an actual safety. Once you cock the hammer, you can pull it, but it has a hammer block safety unless that lever is pulled down. It's very nice. It's very nice, especially when you're teaching younger people how to shoot, which hopefully in the next three years I'll be doing with my little niece, but I doubt it. Her mom doesn't like guns. But, and you, just, you can see I modified the box to hold a couple of, this is uh, some copper coated hollow points. Uh, I got some 22 sharp, which will actually fire out of both of these firearms, plus my Savage. My wife's gun the Beretta Neals only takes long rifle. So, and this is a little 
Remember those magnetic key holders you could put on your car? Got that with some 22 long rifle and that with some no, 22 short and this one, 22 long rifle and this one. And just a little knife that has a lighter on it. Just because uh, you should never go anywhere without a lighter. Especially in this day and age. Alright. Well, again, this has been the Cajun Prepper. And thank y'all for watching this video.